New at five, a new logo for Fresno's oldest high school. It's been nearly a year since activists called for a change to the logo for Fresno High School, claiming it's offensive to Native Americans. After months of discussions and surveys, the school revealed the new logo this morning on campus. Our Liv Johnson reports. Two, three. Students and staff gathered on the Fresno High campus Wednesday morning to reveal the school's new logo, an image of the historic Royce Hall, and for the sports jerseys, an F within a warrior shield. We truly felt we had the best of both worlds and are honored to have both of these images represent our Fresno High Warriors. This all began with a change.org petition started last June by Jamie Nelson, who was of Native American descent and believes the former logo was offensive to that community. It matters a lot to a, a lot of people, but it also hurts and demeans a group of people that were purposefully extinguished. Protesters against the change were also present at the unveiling. Lori Pastre, a Fresno High alumni who says her parents are of Cherokee Native American descent, believes removing the logo is offensive to Native American heritage. So this depicts pride and courage and bravery, all respectable things. It is not disrespectful in any way. People who share Pastre's opinion have now taken legal action. A lawsuit was filed against Fresno Unified School District last week, alleging the new logo violates the Brown Act. The Brown Act requires governmental bodies like school districts to provide public notice of their meetings and allow public access. Protesters say because the meetings discussing a logo change were held on Zoom, not everyone was able to access them. Let's reevaluate this and have another vote that's fair and transparent. The school is submitting a budget request to the board next week. They say they don't yet know how much it will cost to change logos throughout the school and on uniforms. Reporting in Fresno, I'm Liv Johnson, KC24, local news that matters.